so it got to the point where I was making a, a good amount of money on the side. And I tell folks, when you have your side income, try to have enough money to cover your bills um, for maybe three to four or three to six months or have enough where you're making enough residual income every month to cover your bills and then some just in case for an emergency fund. Do you um, ever deal with like uh, that imposter syndrome or? Oh, of course, man. I still like, deal with it now. I, I, still, I still feel it with it now. You know, it's it's one of those things where you always feel like, you know, hey, is this going to be good enough? You know, are people going to like this? Are people going to think I'm just like this fraud? But. I think it's important to have emphasis on on the entire journey. I say do it because it started as a side hustle. You know, I, I think that a misconception a lot of people have is you have to go 100 hours at first to build a business and build an idea and build something into, into a tangible business. When in reality, you can, if you're working nine to five, you know, you can work seven to 10, Monday through Friday and on the weekends, building up a side hustle. And I think that a side hustle is important because one, you're gonna learn a skill set outside of what you do in your day to day, and and don't be scared to ask for help. Hey guys, what do you think of this menu and, and the changes and transitions that? Made? Or what do you guys think about this? I've been in this web design for 12 years, and I still jump in there and ask questions because you can never feel like you know everything. Just be an open book, absorb as many skills and things that you can, and then leverage the community to get feedback and and, and have an ecosystem that you can always lean on. Give selfishly and profit. Right, so you're giving selflessly to the community and then in exchange, you're able to profit from that and, and live a sustainable life.